Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another video, another new marketing show, bonus episode. So today I wanna to talk about web security and WordPress security. So first things first, I think that this is gonna be the most important thing always to remember is WordPress and website security starts with you. Okay, so <clears throat> if you use the same username over and over and over for every site that you work on, or for any of your key logins, you know, this can, we can even uh, transfer some of this to social media. So if you use the same username, same login, same password combination over and over and over, it's gonna be exposed eventually. Now, I suggest keeping track of all the passwords that you have for all the websites if you manage multiple websites, or if you have access to multiple websites, keep track of them somewhere extremely secure, you know? I've gone back to actually what's called a paper wallet, which means that I have them written in a notebook because you see so many many of these different secure things like LastPass or anything like that starting to be a little bit more vulnerable than they used to be. So use a strong password. <clears throat> I've moved away from using passwords that I think of to using 16 to 24 character passwords that are auto-generated for me, which is just a jumble of characters, upper and lowercase letters and numbers. Something I would never, ever, ever remember unless I was a rain man, which is not the case. So I have them stored safely and I have them in what, what I call, what we call a paper wallet. So, so web security, especially WordPress security starts with you. So. When it comes to WordPress security, make sure you always have the latest version of WordPress installed. Make sure all your plugins are up to date. Make sure your themes are up to date. If you can't update any of your themes, then you need to get rid of that theme and redevelop and move to a different theme that can be updated and supported regularly. Look, again, security is the biggest thing. You know, you just keep seeing these multi-billion dollar companies getting hacked. Why wouldn't you get hacked? And also, if you do get hacked, Please know, most, more times than not, and I'm saying probably way more times than not, it's not personal. They just found a vulnerability. A bot went through, through a comment or through some SQL injection, found a vulnerability and gotcha. So don't get got, keep things secure. Start with the fundamentals, strong username, strong password, different passwords, all stored and saved somewhere secure. Hey, thanks for checking us out. Talk to you soon.